It's a funny name for a magazine, the Paris Review, because it doesn't exist in Paris anymore. It doesn't publish reviews. I started to read the Paris Review when I was in college. I would have been about 17 years old. It really blew open my idea of what contemporary literature could be. It set a precedent for me, or a goal for me, uh, of a place to publish. I love getting a new Paris Review and, and tearing the plastic off and digging in to see who's inside. Although I was born and raised in Paris, it was not in Paris that I first discovered the Paris Review. This was in college. And I remember reading stacks of back issues in the library. At the same time, I became friendly with a graduate student who had published a story in the magazine a few years before. This was a stunning and intimidating achievement to me. The first time I think I ever encountered the Paris Review was an art of fiction interview with Saul Bellow that I dug up years after it was published. But when I was too young to be reading it, frankly, it meant that there was a, a world that existed that was the kind of world uh, that I would be comfortable living in. It meshed perfectly for me with just the moment when you need to find some sort of world.